Moving from gameplay to a cutscene can sometimes be a bit weird. The player was here, and then suddenly they are over there. Here's a little trick to smooth transitions from gameplay. Cut on an action. Having the player do a specific action before jumping into a cutscene means that you know exactly where the character is and what they are doing. So now, just bake it from there. It can be really obvious, like operating something, a button or lever perhaps. It might be a little bit less obvious, like cutting mid-jump, such as here in Tomb Raider. Or lifting a gate, like here in God of War. Or it could be closer to a normal animation transition, such as tacked onto a button prompt. God of War is a great example of this, because the entire game has been designed to be one long take, so that I need to squeeze light and flow fluffy, buttery smooth transitions in there somewhere when moving away from player control. Even just taking advantage of these little melting moments like this to add a layer of polish to a scene can work really well. While a little more obvious, we can apply the same logic to transitioning from a cutscene back into gameplay. Seamless in, seamless out. Play around with it, have fun, have an explosion shake the frame and then cut to it. Use triggers to trigger cutscenes in the air. There are a bunch more freshly baked one minute tips right here in this playlist. Hit that bell when you're ready.